question. President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Again, the floor is given to the defense team for noon to to approve for the questions to the witness. You may proceed, counsel. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Mr. I'll, I'll finish up quickly. Uh, although I have still many questions to ask the witness, I will use another 10 minutes. Malgré le fait and que j'ai encore beaucoup uh, de questions à poser à ce témoin, je ne prendrai que 10 minutes. Very quickly, following up in relation to Von Vett. Donc, un petit um, suivi par rapport à Von Vett. I was asking you the question because in your DC CAM statement, you said that uh, on, on English page 0084 and Khmer 0073315, you said that for Nuvet, um, uh, 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 President. Councilor Copper, please uh, mention the document uh, number and year and again and be slower this time. Uh, certainly, Mr. President, um, E3 slash 8752, English ERN 008 49 489, Khmer 007 33315. And here you refer to Von Vett, uh, and you said that at one point in time, one of his messengers was a military. Police a été policier militaire ou colonel. Uh, J'imagine que c'est un that's colonel. Why, that's why I was the pourquoi j'ai posé la question. Cela vous rappelle-t-il quelque chose? Your memory, Von Vett having que Von Vett a avait a eu un as messenger. messager qui avait été colonel dans la police militaire de London. I do not recall that, and personally, I did not know of one way it's a messenger. I knew one way, but not his messenger. Uh, no problem, Mr. Witness. Now let me move to my last subject. Um, and because of time, let me go directly to uh, what you said to DC Cam. Again, Mr. President, that is for the three slash eight seven five two on page English page eighteen zero zero eight four. 9503 ERN and Khmer 07 I'm reading that to you, um, Mr. Witness, and I would like to ask a few follow-up questions. Um, you ask about Chuchet, alias Tassi, and you said, at that time, I heard À l'époque, j'ai entendu dire que Tassi avait cherché à organiser un coup d'État pour renverser les hauts dirigeants. With Sao Pim and Kang Chab. Avec Sao Pim et Kang Chab. À l'époque, toutes les zones étaient d'accord pour les laisser essayer Shortly, de renverser le gouvernement. Ils ont ensuite été uh, rejoints uh, par Chang Economy. du ministère de l'Économie d'État. Internally, they had good relationship la until they reached the agreement to attempt to plot to top the relation jusqu'à ce qu'ils s'entendent euh, avec sur un complot power. de renverser Pol Pot et saisir le pouvoir. Ce n'était pas facile à décrire. And Sao Pim was said, in fact, et to have a connection with the Vietnamese, une connexion avec who les sent their women qui envoyaient leurs to femmes. Him. Qui lui and there was a barrack in the eastern zone where a Vietnamese plan loading women to work with Sao Pim could land. On pouvait faire atterrir des so avions pleins de femmes vietnamiennes pour Sao Pim. Um, donc um, end of quote. Mr. Witness, do you recall donc, having said this to DC CDCAM? That's what I heard from my division. C'est ce que j'ai entendu dire par ma division. And my statement reflects what I recalled from what the division told us. Do you remember hearing how 
this um, coup d'état to topple the top leaders vous avez entendu parler du coup d'état pour renverser ou comment on allait mettre en œuvre plutôt ce complot visant à renverser les hauts dirigeants connaissez-vous les détails quant à ce que vous aviez entendu au sujet de cette tentative de coup d'état ce complot did not know how they planned to uh, make that plan uh, realized. My division told me that uh, two attempted to make uh, that coup together with uh, that person who was in charge of the state economy, together with the Sopram and uh, others from the north. I was briefly told about that plan. However, I did not know the details of uh, the plan. Mais je ne connaissais pas les détails du complot. Question. Uh, could you expand a bit on um, that détails? part Au sujet when you talked about Sao Pim? De Sao Pim. Um, because I'm not sure if I understand. Je ne crois pas avoir bien compris. You said there was a barrack y avait une caserne in the eastern zone, dans la zone est, where a Vietnamese plan uh, loading women to des work with Sao Pim, Sao Pim could land. Plein I'm not sure if I understand that. What, what did you mean when you said that? What did you mean when you said that? I didn't understand. Réponse. Allow me uh, to uh, explain to you. Laissez-moi vous l'expliquer. Regarding what I heard Au about uh, Sarpam, who had a plan, I was told by a plan, medic while we were fleeing the Vietnamese, the, the June rather, the medic told me that Sarpam had a barrack at the border along the uh, Vietnamese and Cambodian uh, border, uh, and the barrack was uh, built by the uh, Dune, and that Dune would uh, load uh, women uh, by helicopter to that barrack. I was not uh, told the exact location non, exactly of uh, the barrack. However, mm. it was situated along the mm. Cambodian Vietnamese uh, border, and it could be 100 meters inside the territory of Vietnam. This information was uh, told Et to me by that uh, medic. But I myself uh, did not uh, witness Mais any of this. Pas été témoin de cela par but did, the, did that Question. medic explain Mais to you what the purpose was of these women, Vietnamese women, I presume? Femmes vietnamiennes, enfin, je présume sont vietnamiennes. Une he didn't give any detailed ah, explanation de about de the uh, Vietnamese women. Uh, he only la, said that Vietnamese women were loaded on helicopters and that they would be sent to Sao Pem. And these women were Question. Uh, military forces? Des, des, des soldats. I didn't answer Réponse. for that detail whether they were civilians si or des civils uh, ou des in the military. Militaires. Question. Um, thank you, Mr. Witt. One, one follow-up question uh, in question relation to a, um, a plans for a coup d'état to topple uh, Pol Pot and the top leaders. Coup à I would like to read to you a small excerpt from and also a Division 164 member. De membre de la division 164. Um, Mr. President, that is document E319-23.3.3. E That's the document that you ah, le document just um, que vous um, admitted. Venez de verser English ERN 011-70833. Uh, French 00996698 uh, and 99 and 
Mr. Witness, this Division 164 Donc, cadre, il de ce cadre uh, dans says la division 164, voilà ce qu'il dit. There was not only one coup. Il y avait bien From plusieurs learned, coups d'État. J'ai entendu, cette... entendu dire qu'il y avait quatre ou cinq coups qui ont eu lieu à Phnom Penh. Ils essayaient de renverser Pol Pot. Et c'est pourquoi les gens ont été tués. C'était très compliqué. No les gens ne se faisaient plus confiance. End of quote. Mr. Witness, this Division 164 cadre ne parle pas d'un coup d'État, mais plutôt quatre ou cinq attentes de coup d'État qui ont eu lieu à Phnom Penh. Non, pas d'un seul coup d'État, mais de quatre ou cinq coups d'État. En avez-vous entendu parler? I did not Réponse. know much about that as I was stationed uh, far from them. Car j'étais moi posté bien loin d'eux. Question. Uh, my last question for the moment. Um, so is there anything else that you heard about um, forces rebelling au sujet uh, against de forces um, qui the center? Um, anything else that you heard about coup d'états or anything else that you would like to share with the trial chamber? Mr. Witness, 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 Mr. Witness,
Donc vous avez entendu so vos amis. You euh, heard some of your friends, um, vous ne connaissez pas les sources. Speak about this, but you did not know the sources that they had. You did not know where your friends had received uh, that kind of information. What were they basing themselves on that you didn't know uh, in order to provide you with this kind of information? Yes. Réponse, oui. Quand vous dites oui, when que you say yes, cela veut dire que vous êtes d'accord que vous ne connaissez pas les sources that you did not know de ces informations. Where that information came from? That's what I was told. C'est ce qu'on m'a dit. So the source that uh, told me about that uh, was Donc, clear to me. But as I said, I did not know how many coup attempts dit, were made. Je ne sais pas I was only told about one coup on attempt. Parlé que seul complot. Et tout à vous avez and dit earlier, vous avez you said that you heard vous en vous a medic speak about that when you were fleeing from the UN. Après, so was it therefore after the arrival of Vietnamese in January 1979 that you heard about this? Yes, that uh, when the June actually uh, oui. attacked us. Oui, c'est quand les June nous ont attaqué. Bon, je n'aurai qu'une seule question well, sur le jour du 17 avril 1975. Ce jour-là, vous entrez dans la ville avec votre troupe. On that day, so you came into Phnom Penh with your troops. Est-ce que vous avez entendu so did you hear le message diffusé à la radio, message that was broadcast on the radio en fin de matinée at the end of the morning, visant à ce que les anciens ministres Aiming at uh, et généraux militaires grouping de la the former ministers and high officials of uh, the uh, London regime before the Ministry of Information. Did you hear any kind que of ces appeal se devant le to de have these people gather before the Ministry of Information? No, I no. did not know about that, no, and at that time I did not have uh, any radio to listen Et to. À l'époque, je n'avais pas de radio pour euh, entendre cela. Est-ce que vous-même ce jour-là vous êtes you, rendu devant day, le ministère you de l'information? Go to the Ministry of Information. No, I did not. No. Alors, well, vous avez reçu you des ordres de received très vite orders Penh. to leave Phnom Penh very quickly. Après euh, la prise de Phnom Penh, after the capture of Phnom Penh, therefore. Un jour, Did you jours, stay there for one day, de two days, or one week before leaving Phnom Penh? Can you give us a clear voilà, answer because uh, you, what you sometimes said is not consistent? Uh. Let me clarify your question. Laissez-moi apporter des précisions. Are you asking me about the time when Phnom Penh fell Vous and then how many uh, days I remained in Phnom Penh after it fell? Is that correct? Je n'ai pas eu d'interprétation de votre réponse. Je n'ai pas eu d'interprétation de votre réponse. Donc, pouvez-vous me dire combien de jours vous avez resté dans Phnom Penh Vous êtes parti plusieurs jours après. Did you leave on the day that Phnom Penh fell or did you leave several days later I have already stated that I remained in Phnom Penh for about a week before I was transferred to Kampot. Est-ce qu'après avoir été transféré After having been transferred to Kampot, but I had noted, however, that you had gone to Kambol or to Bekchan. So, am I right? 
avant d'arriver à so Campot, before vous êtes allé arriving in Campot, did you go to Campot first? I left Combo along National Road number 3 when I was making my trip to Campo. Route 3, route nationale 3, alors que je me rendais à Campo. Bien, dans les semaines, well, alors, dans les uh, jours et les semaines qui ont suivi, votre départ de Phnom Penh, est-ce que vous êtes revenu from Penh, dans la ville pour you participer à une ou plusieurs grandes réunions ou sessions d'études 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 ou sessions Made a direct trip from Phnom Penh to Kampot, and I did not meet with them. Et je ne les ai pas rencontrés. Bon, je vais lire deux extraits. Well, I'm going to read out two excerpts of your previous statements. Le premier E3 bar 7-3 slash 7-3 à la réponse 13. At answer 13. Je cite ce que vous avez dit. Et je vous dis après avoir libéré Phnom Penh immédiatement. Mon armée est sortie de la ville. The city immediately afterwards. Cependant, je voyais However, les habitants sortir de la ville à pied. Je les ai donc autorisés à circuler. The city on foot, so I je n'étais à l'extérieur de la ville de Phnom Penh que outside, durant une semaine à peu près. Je suis resté à l'extérieur de la ville de Phnom Penh pour une semaine approximately. End of quote for translation. Et devant le CDCAM, E3 bar 8752, c'était la page 14 en anglais, 15 en Khmer. Vous avez dit ceci. Je cite en anglais. Et je vais le dire en anglais. After they took control of Phnom Penh, they started organizing the army, navy, and air force. La marine et les forces aériennes. And that when we met, having assigned two different targets. We never returned and see each other again. Nous ne sommes jamais revenus. Nous ne sommes jamais revus. Question. Did you participate in the event held in the stadium? À l'événement au stade. Your answer: Yes, I did. Oui. End of quote. Alors. So, la traduction ne m'a pas l'air très bonne en anglais, mais il semble que même vous avez participé à un événement au stade. Pourriez-vous nous dire quand avez-vous participé à un événement au stade Pourriez-vous nous dire quand avez-vous participé à un tel événement À peu près après, après euh, combien de temps après l'évacuation de Phnom Penh Approximately after the evacuation of Phnom Penh. I have responded uh, to that question already when you asked me how many days did I remain in Phnom Penh, and I said I remained in Phnom Penh for a week, then I went to Kampot, and later on I uh, left Kampot for Kampot. That's how uh, my uh, journey uh, was. Voilà comment ça s'est passé. And this was not. This had anything to do with my trip to Kampot. Ça n'avait rien à voir avec. This is not the time that I was sent to attend the meeting. Moment où je suis rendu à Kampot. Ce n'est pas quand je me suis, quand j'ai été envoyé à participer à cette réunion. I left Phnom Penh for Kampot. J'ai quitté Phnom Penh pour Kampot. Puis de Kampot à la suite, je suis rentré à Kampot pour la réunion. So it seems that your response is not consistent with my route. Ce que vous dites ne semble pas être très cohérent avec le trajet que j'ai emprunté. J'essaie d'être cohérent avec les dates. I'm trying to be consistent with regard to the dates that you provided to the chamber and to different people who interviewed you. Well, now regarding this meeting, sur quoi portait-elle? What was this meeting about? Exactement. Exactly. Et à quel endroit était le lieu? And where was it held? Kim, shall I get up? I do not understand your question. Je ne comprends pas votre question. Your question seems uh, to go in circle. Vous semblez tourner en rond. So I don't understand. 
I have already made Donc, je ne comprends pas. Uh, my statement clear Et j'ai déjà you. pourtant répondu clairement. About how many days je vous ai I déjà dit combien de jours j'avais passé à Phnom Penh. In fact, when I was in Kampot, uh, I did not return Kampot, for the meeting. Je Only after I went from Kampot to Korkong, and from Korkong, Korkong I attended the meeting. Je suis allé à la President, le président. Uh, Deputy Co-Procureur, you should uh, put the questions uh, to the witness regarding uh, the date. Maybe you can ask uh, when dates. did he return uh, to attend the meeting in Phnom Penh, uh, and where, when? Where he was when he was called to attend that meeting, so that you would not waste time Ainsi, on this witness. Avec le témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. Ceci dit, je crois que le témoin. However, est, je sais qu'il est tard, mais je vais vous demander de faire un effort. I know, I know it's late, but I would like the witness to make an effort to answer my questions precisely. In any case, in the excerpt that I read out to you, you said that you attended a meeting or an event dit, at the stadium. Earlier, Kokong, you said that you were already in Kokong when you returned to Phnom Penh to attend this Donc, meeting. So I would like to know when was this meeting held? Qui y Who attended this meeting? And where was this meeting held? Bad. Allow me to respond to your question based on my recollection. To ask me whether I ever came to attend the meeting me before si I went to Kampot. À une avant à Kampot. And for that, I already responded. J ai, j ai déjà I attended a meeting in Phnom Penh, though I Phnom cannot recall Penh. the date. Je ne pas. Je me pas the de la date. meeting was uh, for the organization of the, uh, the Navy, the Army, des, and uh, the Air Force. Uh, l'armée de terre, la force aérienne et la marine. So that was the main content of uh, that uh, voilà meeting. le sujet de la réunion, le sujet principal de cette réunion. They focus on the uh, people who had to deal with the organization donc, ils, euh, of uh, the army, the navy and the air force. Les gens, là, and I saw de ces Paul trois éléments I saw a new Paul Pot, j'ai vu new one chair. These were the two individuals whom I saw les deux que at vu that meeting. À cette réunion. So the meeting, as I uh, reiterated, was for Donc, the répète, organization of the Army, the Navy, les forces, and the Air les Force. Armées, and actually, Paul made a speech uh, to congratulate uh, et la marine. Et the, the, the military. Discours pour féliciter and the organization of uh, the military uh, was raised during that meeting and after that we actually left uh, to our respective uh, units and that is all was it at that meeting the divisions appartenaient aux zones that certaines d'entre elles sont devenues des divisions du centre the zones became que vous vous district souvenez? divisions do you recall that <coughs> bad no that was Because not the case no as for the uh, uh, organizations of the army Non, ce pas le cas. The Navy and the Air Pour Force, they actually uh, reassigned divisions from all over uh, the, the des country. Partout au pays. For example, how many divisions exemple, were to uh, be categorized as uh, the Air Force, etc. And that is uh, the affairs of the uh, top leadership. Et ça, du ressort des hauts dirigeants. That's how they restructured uh, the military. I knew only about armées. this uh, restructuring Moi, of uh, the military. Justement and, uh, des forces armées, de they were the responsibility of the top leaders. Mais c'était la responsabilité des hauts dirigeants. 
Concernant votre travail à Kokong, vous avez répété tout à l'heure que vous avez travaillé trois ans sur place en tant que you commandant adjoint de, de la division 1 de la zone ouest. Vous avez donné certaines dates différentes the concernant votre arrivée sur place. And you gave a number of dates as when you arrived there. And I'll quote to you what you said e to DC Khan. Bar 8, 7, 5, 2, page e 10, 10 slash 8572, page 10 in English. Stop, stop, stop. The Atibah Day, hey, 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 He was the deputy of Division 1, and that Division 1 was within the West Zone, not the East Zone. Bon, Monsieur le Président, c'est bien ce que j'avais dit en Mr. français. Alors, je pense qu'il y a une interprétation. J'ai bien parlé de la Division 1. J'ai bien parlé de la Division 1 de l'East Zone. Dans ce document en CDCAM, on va voir 8752, la page 10 dans les deux langues anglaises et Khmer. Vous avez dit ceci. In both je cite en anglais. Par 1975, I was sent to Kampot. En 1975, j'ai été envoyé à Kampot. Having stayed in Kampot for three months, I was transferred to Villerin. Après, j'ai été transféré à Villerin. Having stayed in Villerin for two months, they transferred me again to Koh Kong. I was transferred to Koh Kong in late 75 or early 76, and stayed there until the Vietnamese launched attacks. Jusqu'à ce que les Vietnamiens lancent leur attaque. End of quote. Tout à l'heure et ailleurs également, vous avez dit que vous étiez plutôt parti ago, à Pravihir. Um, Mais est-ce qu'il est correct de dire, est-ce que vous confirmez ce que vous avez dit au CDK, c'est-à-dire que en fait, vous êtes arrivé Dizikam, à Kokong fin 75 ou début Kokong, 76 in late et par la suite vous avez quitté, 75, early 1976, si je ne me trompe pas, Kokong pour Pravihir en 1978. Let me answer this. I went to Koh Kong, and then in August late 1978, I was transferred to Prévihir. I spent four months in Prévihir, based on my recollection. It was four months that I spent at Prévihir, and then the Vietnamese attacked Cambodia, and they occupied Phnom, Phnom Penh. So I spent only four months in Prévihir province. So, as I told you, I came to Prévihir in August 1978, and later on, the Vietnamese attacked Cambodia. D'accord. Et donc, vous avez passé trois ans à Kokong. Which means that you spent three years in Kokong. Quand vous êtes arrivé à Kokong, combien de soldats étaient sous vos ordres au sein de la division 1? How many soldiers were part of division one? In Division 1, there were two, they based at two locations, one at Lung Vue and one at Vieran, and the third one at Koh Kong. So the, the soldiers in the divisions were based at three locations. And some of them were also withdrawn Certains to join the air force. Pour aller rejoindre les forces aériennes. So, at, so at Koh Kong, initially I had 2,007 soldiers, but later Donc, on I had Kong, only 1,007 Soldiers. And some of them were 
ill. Et certains étaient malades. So, initially, when I went to Hong Kong, I had 2007 soldiers, but later on, I had only 1,007 soldiers. <coughs> D'accord. Et à Kokong et sur les îles environnantes, est-ce qu'il y avait des civils qui habitaient ou bien est-ce que les civils qui étaient sur place ont été envoyés vers l'arrière Ou des civils qui étaient présents à cette location ont été envoyés vers l'arrière Bah, mon cas, dès que je suis allé à Kokong, je suis allé à Kokong. Je suis allé à Kokong. I arrived at Kokong. The civilians had already been evacuated to Kampong Sela. From Tropeang Rung and on Dong Tak, at those places there were no civilians. There were only my soldiers because uh, that area was forested areas. There were a few cows in the area, forêt. but they, they nearly, they almost became wild animals. And there were only male soldiers among us, no female soldiers. And we cultivate rice for, to supply our unit. Il y a quelques questions sur la division 3, la marine. Question, la division a few questions on division 3 and the marine of division 164. You have stated that it was Est-ce que vous avez rencontré un dénommé Dim à Kokong lorsque vous étiez sur place in Vous étiez sur place. When you were there. Regarding Division 64, say the witness. En ce qui concerne la Division 64, I heard that Division 64 initially was Division 3. So the division cooperated with mine in la division carrying out la water and land activities and I knew them because them was in contact with me and stay with me but he did not stay with me permanently because he had other affairs to, to do sometimes he spent only one night at my place and then he left so I would like to tell you that I I was familiar with them. Donc, je les connaissais. Est-ce que vous savez, vous n'avez pas vraiment répondu à ma question, est-ce que vous avez rencontré un des nommés DIM Did you meet a person called DIM D-I-M ou D-O-I-M D'origine de la zone Est, dans la division 164. That person is from the East Zone, that is from division 164. As a matter of fact, you said in E319 slash 23.3.30 à la réponse 3 in answer number 3 this is what you stated je me souviens de Dim I do décédé. remember il avait conduit un navire de guerre à Kokong où il m'avait rencontré he had et à la réponse a captain a ship to Kokong where dit, he Dim met venait de l'est de la zone and est and his wife was from the east zone est-ce que vous vous souvenez des fonctions de Dim do you remember Dim's position de ce sur quoi vos échanges ont porté quand vous l'avez rencontré. Do you remember what you talked about when you met with him? Why you said that I did not give the answer? I told you that he came and spent a night at my place. He came to cooperate with my unit in order to protect the water and the land pour protéger and, et la terre. and later on he disappeared ensuite, but I do not know whether he is alive Mais or je ne sais pas died. Si il est vivant After he came to meet 
me and then he disappeared that's what il i told you après être venu me dire ce que je vous ai dit président the witness gave the correct answer to your question is the problem with your question peut-être un problème avec votre question and how come you actually uh, make an excerpt from the transcript to put to him comment se fait-il que vous citiez un extrait de la transcription What you provided to the witness uh, was beyond uh, what the knowledge of the witness. The witness already confirms that he knew the person, and you should have asked further questions before you put such a quote to him. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous n'avons pas eu peut-être l'entièreté de la réponse We en français lorsque il a répondu ce qu'il veut dire, que je n'avais pas French. compris qu'il parlait Even bien de Dim. Et j'ai compris qu'il parlait knew, de cadre de manière générale. Mais ce que j'ai compris, c'est qu'il parlait de cadre de manière générale. Bon, je passe à une autre personne de la Division 164. Est-ce que vous connaissez un dénommé Sarun Est-ce qu'il faisait partie de votre famille Et est-ce que cette personne était un membre de votre famille Yes. I knew the person. He was in Division 6-4 and he was my cousin. Et mon cousin. Et savez-vous quelle fonction il occupait à la Division 164? Do you know the position he held in Division 64 in the Navy? Uh, he was a commander of a Division 64. During your three-year stay at Cocon, did you have the opportunity to establish contact with Tat Sarun and to talk to him about the situation as regards the Vietnamese enemy? I did not meet with Sarun. Réponse non, je n'ai pas rencontré Sarun. He had his own business, and he only sent his subordinate to meet with me. Et il n'envoyait que ses subordonnés pour me rencontrer. Vous avez parlé tout à l'heure de coopération et d'échange d'informations pour la division 1 et la division 164. Qui était le représentant de la division 164 qui se trouvait en permanence à Kokong en 1977-1978. It is my knowledge that it was Sarun and Mut. I knew Sarun was the commander. So it could be Tamut. Who was in charge of that location, President Witness? There is not the proper response to the question. The question is who was the representative of Division 164 stationed in Hong Kong in around 1977 and 1978. Witness, I did not know if it was uh, between 1977 or 78. I only knew about uh, the event in around 1975. And I did not know who was actually a representative or in charge of that division in that area. Et je ne sais pas qui était le représentant ou qui était responsable de la division à cet endroit. 
Vous avez cité euh, à la réponse 33 du procès verbal de l'édition euh, 319-23.31, le nom de Sim, qui était com commandant des compagnies. Le nom de Sim. Vous avez rajouté dans la même réponse que la compagnie avait six vaisseaux à sa disposition. Est-ce que vous collaboriez avec ce SIM comme commandant de compagnie à l'époque SIM était avec moi et je le connaissais bien. He was a company commander and he was not overall in charge. His uh, level was only a company uh, commander and he did not uh, supervise the six vessels. He supervised only three vessels. And then there were those old American uh, uh, boats. There were two of them, though I cannot uh, recall the exact names of uh, those two uh, boats. So in total, there were uh, five boats. Est-ce que Sim et les autres cadres de la division 164 disposaient de bateaux rapides Of a qui permettait l'interception ou le raisonnement de bateaux étrangers, qu'ils soient petits ou grands. Parce qu'avec les bateaux de la division 164, ils pouvaient facilement arraisonner les bateaux de pêcheurs thaïlandais et les bateaux de réfugiés vietnamiens. Yes, uh, uh, there were boats, uh, they were small oui. and they were fast, so they could be used to capture uh, those boats. Est-ce que ces petits bateaux rapides américains étaient des PCF C'est en fait ce que vous avez cité la même réponse, 33, Were they PCF boats? Yes, uh, they were the uh, PCF. Oui, oui, des PCF. However, they were not as fast as those uh, vessels from China. So there were two uh, PCFs Donc, and PCF. there were three Chinese uh, vessels. Et quelle était la puissance en chevaux And what was the plus gros bateau de la marine posté à Kokong Est-ce que vous saviez uh, quelle était la puissance du moteur Kokong. Do you know the horsepower of that particular boat Actually, your, uh, big vessels did not come to port uh, en fait, there. They usually went to uh, Kokong. In that area, there were these American PCFs and the Chinese vessels. I did not know the horsepower of those vessels. There were also two 250 horsepower vessels, and there were also two other 150 horsepower vessels. Et les canaux de Vietnamiens, de réfugiés vietnamiens qui, vous avez dit, peut-être dérivés dans votre zone, est-ce qu'ils avaient des moteurs puissants ou des, des petits moteurs They were small boats and uh, they were in the 30 horsepower or 40 horsepower uh, boats. En plus des bateaux de la division 164, est-ce que la division 1 disposait également de certains bateaux qui permettaient la capture de ces bateaux vietnamiens peu puissants de 30 à 40 chevaux Yes, there were. We uh, had uh, these uh, 150 horsepower boats. Oui, nous avions ces bateaux de 150 chevaux. They were actually called boats chevaux. and not a, a ship or Et vessels. Et on ne les appelait pas des navires, on les appelait bateaux. 
Juste une précision concernant la like chaîne de commandement au-dessus command Est-ce que au sein de la division 1, vous ne receviez one, effectivement d'ordre et vous ne faisiez rapport que à Tasson Ou bien faisiez-vous également rapport au chef de la zone ouest Chief of the East Zone. Well, there was a situation. I would report to And if he was not there with his instruction, I would make a report to the zone. Usually, the report was made to soon. Est-ce que votre bureau était désigné par un nom de code Was Ici, your oui. office designated by a code name And if yes, what was that code name I did not have an office. Je n'avais pas de bureau. I did not have any proper office. Uh, usually, we stayed uh, together général, with uh, the uh, soldiers. Nous ensemble avec les soldats. Mais si j'ai bien compris, vous, But if vous I communiquiez avec ta zone ou you avec la zone ouest par voie de Telegram. Dans ce cas-là, est-ce qu'il y avait bien In un bureau case, où on recevait et on envoyait des Telegrams? Telegrams could be sent and received. All houses were used for that purpose. We also stayed provisionally in those old houses. Est-ce qu'il vous est arrivé de recevoir des ordres directs? Did you sometimes receive? Direct orders from Dakil, that is Sun Sen. No, I did not. No, I did not. Je voudrais clarifier ce point parce que au sein des CAM, vous avez dit c'est le document E3/8752, la page 27 en anglais et 30 en Khmer. Je cite en anglais. And I'm quoting in English. Takyu never came to meet me. We just communicated by telegraphs and big radio. Sometimes I got orders from him, sometimes from the division whose commander was Bang Sung, also at the zone. Once a month or a week, he came to see me. End of quote. Donc dans ce passage, il semble que passage, vous aviez dit que Son Sen communiquait avec Son vous par télégraphe ou par radio, que vous receviez des ordres de Est-ce que vous receviez ces ordres directement ou par l'intermédiaire de Ta Sen I received it uh, through the Sun. For example, uh, Sun Sen gave the orders to uh, the Sun, then the Sun uh, sent me those orders. So for the orders that I received by uh, telegrams, Telegraphs, then I would see both names, that is uh, his name and the Sun's name on it. Je voudrais rebondir sur ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure. Vous avez like utilisé le terme en parlant ago. des réfugiés vietnamiens, des bateaux vietnamiens. Vous avez utilisé le terme de Yud. Est-ce que, à l'époque, selon period, ce que vous en saviez, you know, le terme de Yun désignait indifféremment des militaires ou des civils Est-ce que tout Vietnamien était appelé Yun was every Vietnamese referred to as a Yun? 
D'abord, concernant les Vietnamiens de l'intérieur du pays, pas ceux qui venaient en tant que réfugiés, mais ceux qui habitaient au Cambodge. Est-ce qu'il y avait... Est-ce que vous avez entendu qu'il y avait un plan pour éliminer les Vietnamiens qui habitaient au Cambodge entre 1975 et 1979 Yes, I heard about that. Oui, j'ai entendu parler de cela. I heard about the Vietnamese living in Campuchia. J'ai entendu parler des Vietnamiens habitant au Cambodge. Vietnamese who lived in Cambodia. Les Vietnamiens qui habitaient au Cambodge. Did uh, intend to cause troubles to the uh, Cambodian people and did not uh, do an honest uh, living. Au Camb au... Initially, from, starting from 1970, they were peacefully sent, to, sent back to their country by uh, the, the government, and that continued until 1975. So, then, for us, uh, later on, we were instructed that the Vietnamese donc, had to be smashed tard, because they did not uh, return to their uh, country. Dans leur pays. There were then clashes along the border Il due to this issue. Uh, that's what I heard. De la frontière à cause de cela. Voilà ce que j'ai entendu. Est-ce qu'il y avait de nombreux Vietnamiens qui n'étaient pas rentrés dans leur pays et qu'il fallait donc écraser Est-ce que, par exemple, dans la zone ouest, vous avez entendu qu'il y, qu y en avait qui restaient when they were allowed to return to their country, not every one of them returned. Some of them remained living in Cambodia or married with the Cambodian people. The majority of them who decided to remain living in Cambodia were living in Cambodia, that is along the river banks. And then that's why there were later on clashes between the Vietnamese and the Cambodian people. And it also happens in the Western zone. And Vietnamese actually continues living in Cambodia even when the Vietnamese attacked Cambodia in 1979. Et également lorsque les Vietnamiens ont attaqué and, uh, le Cambodge en 1979, la vérité est que ils ne sont pas rentrés dans leur pays, ils étaient toujours au Cambodge lorsque les troupes vietnamiennes nous ont attaqué. Vous avez parlé de couples mixtes, donc uh, de certains Vietnamiens qui n'étaient pas rentrés dans leur pays parce qu'ils étaient mariés avec des Cambodiens. Je voudrais prendre deux situations. Well, like si c'est la femme now. qui était Vietnamienne, si la femme 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 était Vietnamienne, Cambodian. Que faisait-on à ce moment-là aux enfants What would then with the children of this couple? Est-ce qu'il fallait également les écraser parce que c'était des ennemis? Was it necessary to also smash the children because they were considered enemies? I did not know uh, well about every detail regarding this matter during the three years period. Tous les détails de cette question pendant la période de trois ans et quelques. However, I can uh, speak from my experience. Mais je peux parler de près mon expérience. My aunt married a Vietnamese Ma husband a épousé un Vietnamien. Since the Israel war time, à and de la as a result, Tissac. they hated to Et mix cela, children. Ils avaient des enfants. 
And they actually lived not far from my house. Et ils vivaient non loin de ma they maison. Had two children. Ils ont eu deux enfants. And when the Vietnamese entered the Cambodge in 1970, sont venus au Cambodge en 1970, my two uh, nephews were sent to Vietnam to live in Thai Ninh My aunt's husband, who was Vietnamese, was arrested. Qui était vietnamien avait été arrêté. So after her husband was arrested, she Après fled. She attempted to flee. Actually, mari, and she de was arrested. Et elle a été arrêtée elle aussi. Then only their children survived et in seul, Vietnam. This is from my personal Ça, experience. Ça, c'est mon I did not know the details of the policies uh, by the Cambodian government on the issue of uh, dealing with the uh, June people. The Cambodian people at the time were uh, angry with uh, the June, and later on we were attacked by the June. So uh, the revenge, the spirit Donc, of revenge, still de lives on. Est bien If they vivant, were to uh, live in Cambodia uh, in harmony, then nothing Cambodge, would happen. But they did not. Harmony, rien ne se produit, mais ce pas le cas. 